Hi, now we're going to have a look at the new uh, DTF 30 centimeter machine from uh, Audi My Color. So DTF, if you haven't already heard about DTF, it is absolutely a game changer for, for those who do heat press logos. Uh, traditionally heat press logos are, are produced using printed vinyl. The vinyl is first printed, then the machine changes to cut mode, cuts around the contours, cuts the internal areas, then you have to weed out all the pots of oil you don't want, which can be very time consuming. And then you have to apply a transfer film over the top, cut them up, and then heat press them onto the garment. With DTF, the whole process is pretty much automatic. So I'll uh, open the printer so you can see what's happening here. So you can see that it first prints the color layer, and then it prints a white layer on top. So that's white ink that's printing on top of there. Then um, the prints, but by the way, the beds of the printer are heated. The first tray of the heat press machine is also heated. So this is required to partially dry the ink before the adhesive powder is applied. This is the unit that applies the heated powder. So it sprinkles the adhesive powder onto the film. The powder sticks only to the printed areas of the film. And you can also see inside here, there's what they call a beta bar. The beta bar beats the back of the film and that does two things it moves the powder around on the film to make sure there's a good even coverage of powder on the film but the beating on the back of the film also knocks off any excess powder on the unprinted areas as the prints move up from the powder area they move through the heat tunnel here in the heat tunnel heat is applied to cure the ink and to uh, evaporate off the moisture and the glycerin from the ink. So it also melts the adhesive powder. So the logos that come out of the tunnel here are literally ready to be applied to a garment with a 15 second heat press. Now currently we have the logos just, just uh, coming out of the machine but there is an automatic rewind unit here so for people who want the machine to rewind the printed uh, film it will rewind automatically onto a cardboard tube. That's up to the individual. Some people like to print batches of jobs per customer and just cut them off as they come out of the machine and then you can process that while the machine continues. It also has an extractor unit here, an air, an air filtration unit. So this takes the, um, the glycerin vapor from the top of the heat chamber and filters it out through this little portable air filter unit at the side here. So like most printers, DTF printers that have whiting, um, there's a small amount of maintenance required. Very easy with a DTF machine because DTF ink is designed to stay wet. So we find it's very easy to clean the underside of the print head, very easy to clean the capping station. It also has automatic motors to stir the whiting in the white ink tank and to cycle the white ink from the tank through to the uh, above the print head and back again. So the white ink always is kept very, very well mixed. And we find in the morning, on, on this printer, we do one, two head cleans at the most, and it's ready to go. Uh, Warm-up time is literally a few minutes, so you're up and running very, very quickly every morning. The 30 centimeter machine is quite fast. The logos that it's printing at the moment are, I think, uh, five or six centimeters by 13 centimeters. It prints about 50 of those in 12 minutes. So that's pretty fast uses an XP600 print head and those are um, quite reasonably priced as compared to the, the bigger industrial print heads too. So very small compact machine, doesn't take up a lot of floor space. Um, you need a, a 20 amp power socket uh, on the wall, or 15 amp power socket, sorry, on the wall. Um, so power requirements are not uh, too onerous either. So that's the 30 centimeter DTF printer and heat finishing unit from orderly my color.